In modern warfare, the sky is no longer ruled only by fighter jets and helicopters. A silent revolution is unfolding above the battlefield, where machines with no pilots hunt their targets with deadly precision. Among these machines, one name stands out as a symbol of fear and technological dominance, the Harap Kamikaze drone of Israel. As we move closer to 2026, the Harap is no longer just a weapon, it is a statement of how wars are fought in the future. On today's episode of The Rev Line, we dive deep into the evolution, power, strategy, and future of Israel's most feared loitering munition. The Harap is not just a drone, and it is not just a missile. It is a hybrid weapon designed to search, track, and destroy enemy targets on its own. Unlike traditional missiles that are fired toward a known target, Harap stays in the air, silently waiting, watching, and choosing the right moment to strike. This ability makes it one of the most dangerous weapons on the modern battlefield. By 2026, its upgraded versions are expected to be faster, smarter, more autonomous, and more lethal than ever before. Originally developed by Israel Aerospace Industries, the Harap was created to counter one of the most critical threats in warfare, enemy radar systems and air defenses. The drone can stay airborne for hours, scanning large areas until it detects radar signals. Once it locks onto a target, it dives straight into it, exploding on impact. There is no escape once Harap begins its final attack. This is why it is often called a, fire and forget killer. What truly makes Harap terrifying is its intelligence. It carries electro-optical sensors, infrared cameras, GPS navigation, and advanced communication systems. These systems allow it to operate in complex environments, even in heavy electronic warfare conditions. It can be controlled remotely by an operator or function in fully autonomous mode. By 2026, experts believe Harap will feature improved artificial intelligence, enabling it to distinguish real targets from decoys with near-human accuracy. In the modern battlefield, speed is life. Harap is launched from canisters mounted on vehicles, ships, or ground platforms. Once released, it unfolds its wings midair and begins its loitering mission. Unlike traditional drones that need runways or recovery systems, Harap is a one-way mission weapon. It exists only to hunt and destroy. Its range stretches deep into enemy territory, allowing it to strike high-value targets without risking pilots or expensive aircraft. Over the past decade, Harap has already proven its deadly effectiveness. It gained worldwide attention during conflicts where it successfully destroyed radar installations, air defense systems, and command centers with surgical precision. Militaries across the globe observed these operations closely. The result was a surge in global demand for loitering munitions, but Harap remains among the most advanced designs in the world. By 2026, the battlefield is expected to become even more complex. Enemy forces are shifting toward mobile missile systems, hidden radar units, and electronic warfare tactics. Harap's future upgrades are designed specifically to counter these new threats. Improved endurance will allow it to stay in the air for longer periods, creating an invisible death zone above enemy territory. Faster data processing will enable it to react instantly to evolving battlefield conditions. Another major upgrade expected by 2026 is enhanced stealth. Radar-absorbing materials and reduced heat signatures will make Harab nearly invisible to enemy detection systems. This means air defenses will struggle to even see it coming, let alone stop it. Once Harap locks onto its target, the window for enemy response becomes almost non-existent. One of the most important aspects of Harap's future is its role in swarm warfare. Instead of launching a single drone, multiple Harap units can be launched together, coordinating their movements through network communication. These drone swarms can overwhelm air defenses by attacking from multiple directions at the same time. Even the most advanced missile defense systems can be saturated by such tactics. By 2026, swarm-enabled Harap systems may become a standard feature in Israel's tactical doctrine. The psychological impact of the Harap is just as powerful as its physical destruction. Soldiers on the ground know that the sky can turn deadly at any moment without warning. There is no sound barrier breaking jet, no visible missile trail, only a silent killer descending from above. This constant threat affects enemy morale, disrupts movement, and forces forces to remain hidden, slowing down operations. Economically, the Harap also reshapes the cost of warfare. Traditional airstrikes require multi-million dollar fighter jets, trained pilots, logistics, and support teams. Harap can achieve similar results at a fraction of the cost and with zero pilot risk. This cost-effectiveness is one of the key reasons why loitering munitions are becoming the weapon of choice for many nations. 
By 2026, Harap is also expected to be integrated with satellite systems, battlefield command networks, and real-time intelligence platforms. This integration will allow commanders to deploy Harap strikes with pinpoint accuracy based on live battlefield data. A radar detected by satellite, confirmed by ground intelligence, and destroyed by Harap within minutes, this is the speed of future warfare. Another major development is the use of Harap in naval warfare. Enemy ships rely heavily on radar systems for detection and missile guidance. Harap can be launched from lander ships to hunt naval radar systems, blinding enemy fleets before a major naval engagement even begins. This capability changes the balance of power at sea and gives Israel a massive strategic advantage in maritime conflicts. The global impact of Harap's success is impossible to ignore. Many countries are now racing to develop their own kamikaze drones, inspired by Israel's achievements. However, copying hardware is one thing, matching the combat experience, tactical doctrine, and real-world refinement of Harap is another. By 2026, Israel is expected to maintain its technological edge through continuous upgrades in combat testing. There is also growing debate about the ethical implications of autonomous weapons like Harap. As artificial intelligence becomes more involved in target selection, questions arise about accountability, civilian safety, and the future of human control in warfare. Supporters argue that AI-driven weapons reduce collateral damage by increasing accuracy. Critics warn that removing human judgment could lead to unpredictable consequences. By 2026, these debates are expected to become even more intense on the global stage. From a strategic perspective, Harap gives Israel a powerful deterrent tool. Any enemy considering building radar-guided air defenses must now account for the constant threat of being hunted and destroyed by loitering munitions. This forces adversaries to invest heavily in camouflage, deception, and electronic warfare, raising the cost and complexity of any conflict. As warfare moves toward automation, Harap represents the transition point where human decision-making and machine execution merge into one lethal system. The operator sets the mission parameters, but the drone completes the hunt. By 2026, the line between remote control and autonomy will become even thinner. Harap's future versions are also expected to feature modular warheads. This means different payloads can be fitted depending on the mission, high explosive for hard targets, fragmentation for troop concentrations, and specialized warheads for electronic warfare missions. This flexibility makes Harap not just a single-purpose weapon, but a multi-role strike platform. Training for Harap operators has also evolved. Operators are no longer just drone pilots, they are intelligence analysts, strike coordinators, and battlefield tacticians rolled into one. They must interpret live sensor data, identify real targets, avoid civilian zones, and make split-second decisions. As the system becomes more advanced by 2026, operator training will become even more specialized. Another major leap forward will be in counter-countermeasures. Enemy forces are already attempting to jam drone communications. Future Harap variants are expected to use encrypted, frequency-hopping communication systems and autonomous fallback modes if communication is lost. This means that even under heavy electronic attack, the Harap mission can still be completed. In urban warfare, Harap presents an entirely new level of threat. Enemy command centers hidden inside buildings, underground bunkers, or narrow streets can be detected and targeted with extreme precision. This reduces the need for large-scale airstrikes that risk civilian lives. Precision is the currency of modern warfare, and Harap trades in it flawlessly. By 2026, the Harap is not expected to operate alone. It will work alongside surveillance drones, reconnaissance satellites, cyber warfare units, and manned aircraft in a fully integrated combat system. This creates a digital battlefield where information flows instantly between machines, and decisions are executed within seconds. The success of Harap has also reshaped air defense strategies worldwide. Nations now realize that defending against loitering munitions requires layered defenses, including radar, electronic warfare, rapid response guns, and interceptor missiles. Even then, no defense is perfect. Harap exploits gaps in coverage, timing, and human reaction speed. The future battlefield is no longer about who has the biggest army or the strongest tanks. It is about who controls the sky with intelligence, automation, and precision. Harap sits at the center of this transformation. By 2026, it will not just be a weapon, it will be a symbol of how wars are decided before they even begin. As technology advances, the fear factor of Harap will only grow. 
enemies will know that they are being watched at all times, that any radar activation could be their last, and that death can arrive silently from above without warning. This constant pressure changes how wars are planned, fought, and survived. From deserts to mountains, from coastlines to cities, Harap adapts to every environment. This adaptability is what makes it one of the most versatile weapons ever built. While tanks dominate the ground and fighter jets rule the clouds, Harap owns the silent space in between. As we look toward 2026, one truth becomes unavoidable, the age of the kamikaze drone has fully arrived, and Harap stands at its forefront. The battlefield is no longer just a clash of soldiers and machines, it is a chessboard of algorithms, sensors, and autonomous hunters. And this is exactly why Harap is not merely a drone. It is a warning, a message, a decisive factor in modern warfare. Its presence reshapes strategies, terrifies adversaries, and redefines what it means to control the battlefield. This is the future of war. Silent, intelligent, relentless. And this, is the Harap Kamikaze Drone of Israel, heading into 2026. Brought to you by, The Rev Line. If you want more powerful stories of military technology, future warfare, and legendary weapons systems, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and stay ready for what's coming next.